to get access to the oil cooler, you are going to have to remove or move several components as well as drain and refill the cooling and power steering systems. Make sure that you order all of the gaskets and fluids necessary before you begin so as not to hold you up during reassembly. Here are the steps you need to take before we get to the cooler. Begin by removing the air box and throttle body. Drain the cooling system. Then you need to perform a partial engine drop. Remove the resonance tube and the 4 to 6 cylinder bank air distributor or intake manifold. Next, move the air conditioner compressor out of the way without disconnecting the lines. Then drain and remove the power steering pump. Please follow the link provided at the end of this video for assistance with all of those tasks. Using proper hose clamp pliers, remove the two clamps on the coolant lines to the oil cooler, blue arrows. If needed, run a pick around the inside of the hoses, red arrow, and separate them from the cooler. Inspect the hoses and replace as needed. Fully loosen the fittings on the high pressure fuel lines. There are two on the left side, red arrows, and one where it attaches to the rail on the right side. Use an E10 torque and remove the two mounting bolts where the high pressure fuel line brackets attach to the engine block. Remove the high pressure fuel line from the engine and compartment. Carefully slide the plastic return line from the power steering reservoir out from the mounting bracket on the top of the oil cooler and indicated by the blue arrow. Using a T30 torque, remove the two screws, blue arrows, on the left side of the cooler and the four on the right side, not shown. Remove the oil cooler from the engine. It will still have coolant in it, so make sure you don't spill it down into the opening in the engine. There will also be oil inside the cooler, so try and keep it level. Immediately plug the two holes for the oil openings with some clean rags or tape over them. Clean the mounting surfaces well and always replace the gaskets, blue arrows. Grease the gaskets with the Porsche synthetic grease or equivalent. Installation is the reverse of removal. You will be filling and bleeding the power steering and cooling system. Torque the six T30 screws on the oil cooler to 10 Newton meters or 7.5 foot pounds. Torque the high pressure fuel line mounting brackets to 10 Newton meters or 7.5 foot pounds and the connecting nut for the high pressure fuel lines to 25 Newton meters plus or minus three Newton meters. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out another video in this series.